uh, standing by. Go ahead. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up for questions for Isaiah. How does it feel that you just won? Um, you know, it feels good, but speak up a little bit. It felt good to, you know, get a win finally. Um, the biggest thing is just we got to keep working. You know, it's more. Um, we could just keep getting better, and that's the main goal. But it feels good, but we got to get back to work. Mm -hmm. I guess Isaiah. I'll go. I mean, for you, what was this? You get back to practice on Wednesday. What was this week like for you to get yourself ready for this game? Um, during quarantine, you know, I kept working out. Really, everything with me is just mental, you know. Um, and that was my biggest thing. Like, I just have to be prepared mentally. Um, next play mentality. If I make a mistake, so be it. We on to the next play. And that was my biggest thing, just my mental. And what was it like for you? I saw you share the moment with Corey afterwards to have him on the sideline with you. What'd that do for you? What was that experience like? Um, that was a great feeling, you know. Um, all the work we've been doing, we like we steady working. You know, I hit a roll. I mean, I hit a roll bump, a um, couple like battles, and I'm still working to get where I want to be. But it felt good to finally get that win and finally get out there and show what I could do. Thanks, Isaiah. Isaiah, what was the what was the moment in this game where you kind of felt settled in? Uh, was it a big run? You, you kind of seemed to calm down there in the second quarter and then accelerate from there the rest of the game. So were there nerves early or what? Did you have a specific moment where it all started to click? Yeah, honestly, it, it was a little nerves. You know, it's my first time like being a starter out there. So it was a little nerves. But, you know, after that first little snap, I was good. And and how hard were the last two weeks, you know, just having to sit out and and, you know, knowing there's an opportunity out there, but you and you're healthy, but you, you can't be there because of the contact tracing. How, how difficult was that for you? Honestly, it was a blessing. You know, God time is everything. It was a purpose for that. I told you, like I said, them two weeks, it wasn't like I was just sitting out. I, told, I was working on my mental, um, coming mentally strong, growth mindset. So it wasn't it was really a blessing. Thanks. Okay, well, go ahead, uh, Colin, and then Gavin. They've lined up. Go ahead, Colin. Go ahead. Thanks. Thanks, Isaiah. First drive of the third quarter. Uh, you guys got stuffed at the one yard line. How did you like the way the guys, you and all the other guys, responded after that? And were able to bounce back and, and keep pushing offensively. Yeah, honestly, like I said, growth mindset, next play mentality. Um, we don't let one play define us. We just keep working, and that was the thing at the beginning of the game. Like, how did this game go? Just even kill every play, just keep going, keep going. That's that's how that was the energy of the game. We kept going. You know, it was a slow start, but we just kept going. And I don't know if anybody told you, but uh, you set the Illinois quarterback all time rushing record. At least that's that's what the, the report is. What is uh, what does that mean to you? Um, honestly, it I mean like progress is being made and I just got to keep getting better. Um, I got to have the coaches more confident in me throwing the football. So we go back to the lab, and we're going to get better at that to become complete. Thanks, Isaiah. All right, Gavin, go ahead. Hey, Isaiah. Um, just wondering, like, is there anything in, in your play specifically besides like, throwing the ball, obviously, is uh, one that you just identified. But, like, what else, What sort of thing specifically are you going to be working on when you look back at this game and see the film? Um, right, ball carriage, like, um, taking care of the ball. That's that's one of the biggest things. Um, can't be turning the ball over. The football is the program. You know what I'm saying? So I got to make sure I'm holding on to that ball. Like I said, um, throwing the football. Um, and then my mental, that's my biggest thing, just my mental. So thanks. OK, uh, go ahead, Matt Stevens, and then uh, uh, Gabby on deck. Go ahead, Matt. Isaiah, I just wanted to ask you about Chase. I think having you both in the backfield and you, you seem to work that RPO stuff really well with Chase. Just um, is that a connection that you feel like you have? And, and were you happy with some of the reads that you were able to make on some of those with whether it was to pull it out or to let him go? Yeah, Chase a dog. He made he make my job way easier. You know what I'm saying? Like he a lot of big plays, explosive, explosive plays that we needed from him. And he came up big. Um, as long as like blocking everything, like he just complete and He's a dog. I know every play. I know he got my back. So it was great. And it's, it's a connection that we have, honestly. Okay. Uh, uh, Gabby and then uh, Jeremy. Go ahead, Gabby. 
Isaiah, the defense kind of came up big for you guys with three turnovers today. What did that mean just to kind of, when you guys have a missed drive, get that ball back right away? Yeah, it's everything. Honestly, the defense, you know, they almost, like, basically won us the game. Them three turnovers was big, and it was, you know, in crucial moments. Um, they make the offense job easier when they do that. So made my job a lot easier. When that happens, how can you guys kind of just feed off that momentum and, you know, carry that over into your side of the ball? Yeah, when they when they get a turnover, we got to get a first down. You know, like that's the biggest thing. We get a turnover, we have to get a first down. And that first down is going to lead into another first down. But that first down after a turnover is very crucial. Thank you. All right, uh, Jeremy, and then uh, John Sapina. Go ahead, Jeremy. Hey, Isaiah, I'm just wondering some particulars. When did you learn you were going to be the starting quarterback? Um, when I came back Wednesday, I was taking like some tools, a lot of tools, rough, but I was getting in there with the ones. By the Thursday practice, kind of had a feeling. I wasn't sure, but I had a feeling because I was getting more one reps. But that wasn't like really big to me. I was just going to make the most out of my opportunities in practice. And, they gave me a shot. I knew, I knew for sure Friday though. Who who told you? And and I know this has been a long journey for you, um, given that some people didn't think you're a quarterback. So, who told you? And, and what was your kind of reaction to it? Um, Coach Lovey told me he um called me up. Um, he was like, you know, you gonna get your shot. Um, you done had a great count. Now it's time to just show the world, and that's what I did today. So what did that mean to you, and what do you think you showed today? Um, biggest thing, I think I showed hard. Um, you know, 30, 30 carries, that's a lot of carries, um, and just kept playing. And then the last um, play, the, the back shoulder, um, I showed that progress was being made, and that's all that mattered, that I keep getting better. How's, how's your body feeling? I feel good. I'm going to be ready to go next week. Thanks, Jose. All right, John Supini, go ahead. Yeah, Isaiah, you know, we know you're a quarterback, but if Brandon's out there playing, are, are, would you like to get out there and, and get some carries and get some balls your way, even if he's the quarterback? Honestly, whatever the coaches want, that's whatever they want, I'm I'm rolling with them. Same thing I told Coach Rod today, like, you call whatever, Coach, I'm going to read it. I'm, I'm with you. So whatever Coach Rod, you know, call, like, I'm going to ride with it, but I know what my heart at, and I know what I want to do, and I know what I'm keep getting better at. But at any time, if they need me to make a play for the team, I'm I'm willing to do it. Okay, uh, we got time for one more from Alec. Go ahead. Hey Isaiah, thanks for doing this. The question I have is, you had a couple of big runs where you were stiff arm, and it looked like you're kind of talking a little bit to Rutgers players after that. Your confidence just seemed to build throughout the game. Can you just kind of explain? where you kind of get that swagger from and your ability to just run and then be confident enough to talk in your first start as a Big Ten quarterback? Yeah, honestly, it's God-given. And it, it kind of go back to when I was talking about, like, these last two weeks, I just worked on my mental. Um, and I just asked God, like, to just take away all worry, anxiety. And I just, you know, no matter what happened, next play mentality, like I said, so. I just wanted to make a play every play, do what I can for my team. I knew mistakes was going to be made, but the next play, we got the same mindset. And that was that was the biggest thing. So I was just confident out there, and you know, I just wanted to make plays. Thank you. All right. Thank you, everybody. That's Isaiah. They'll complete Isaiah. we got a few minutes here before we'll get uh, 